a built-in Triumph 5000 cc, a Yamaha or a Suzuki 1500 cc. Yeah, but who wouldn't mind a Vincent HRD 10,000 cc? With apes? No, not on your Vincent HRD. No, no not on that. It's too classy. That, that's sacrilege. And a 150 a ton and all of sublime speed, tearing gap, flaming flesh pulled, your glasses stabbing in your eyes, ice whipping off your face, the vibrations pulsating through every square inch of skin between your thighs, paralyzed. At 2000 cc, my throttle twist grips lightly, oh, so delicately held, not too much red. We skate, we fly, between my thighs, I grip her tight. She won't budge, won't move. The road clears for us. It opens up like a river. The cars, farting families in VWs and Fords, dogs and kids smearing up the rear window, and granny spouting, they ought to be exterminated. <laughs> Stan, still there, see We stream past the pumps and the hairdressers in minis, MGs and Sprites. Menswear salesmen in green Cortinas. Or ancient Cadillacs driven by aging movie stars cruising for rough trade. Larking the leather loin boys with long records of glorious GBH tattooed upon the helmets of their cocks. I'll slow it down to 150 miles an hour and shut it up. <clears throat> her face is hanging off her skull. <clears throat> she sees what grows between my knees and creams her jeans. Stop, James, she says. And we split down to Joe's cafe at the intersection where the M1 slatted reluctantly off into Luton. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't be? There, behind the cap, behind the pantechnicons and articulated lorries, I ran into her ancient north and south. Take your teeth out, you old slag. And her leader, with a happy grin on her wretched, toothless boat. James carries her off with a nod, suggesting. Here we go again. <laughs> Never mind, all in a day's work. I start up my beauty once more. Warming. She's buzzing down there. She's loving it. She's rambling out. No, I keep the start in the day. Oh, no. no. no.